I'm going to go down and get the mail. Down life cut road, lots of things I never know. Didn't cover me not knowing now I'm fine. Oh, I got him. Huh? Well, hey, cowboy, we need a lift. What the word? A lift? How far are you going? No, not that kind of lift. My family, we don't have a place to live. A talking pheasant? Don't you find that a little tough to believe? Well, I'll string along with a little while and see what happens. Listen, I'll tell you what you do. Load the bunch in. I'm just running up the mailbox here to pick up a packet from the Game and Parks Commission that's telling me all about how to raise you pheasants. So just get them in. We'll check this thing out. All right. That sounds okay. Come on, Ma. Come get, on. Get them Come in on, there. Come on, Junior. Let's... let's go. We're getting a ride with this cowboy here. This second here, I'll just shut the door. There you go. Okay, you now You think let's... this old wreck's going to make it? What? What this old wreck? Who are you to be telling me this is an old wreck? You're right in the fancy oh, truck for a cow. Listen, just hold it down a little bit. We got on up to the mailbox here. Just hold it down a little bit. Now be careful. Don't drive too fast. Junior might hop I'll out and land I'll on his head. Just pay attention. I'll drive this pickup. Can I shift? Be careful, Junior. Now listen, here's the mail, but you'll get the mail and uh, get that packet out of there. All right, if you think so, I'll get it right now here. Be careful, don't dang up my pickup. Get in there and get All that right, packet from the Game and Parks Commission. What That's is what this funny have. thing here? That's the information we're going to go up to the house and talk about, about right there. About us pheasants? Yeah don't, yeah, don't spell it. Get it in here. All right, all right. Things are pretty rough out here, you know. There's no cover for us, no place for us to live, no, no home. What do you mean you got, you got no cover? What do you mean? No, no cover at all. We don't have any. Just hold your horse. Now watch who you're driving. I hate the testy Mongolian immigrant. Just no, hang on a minute. Well, I'm going to pull right in here. Hold, get out of the room. Oh, you're right. I go on there. Listen, I, we got to get a little organization of this whole thing. Now listen. We're going to go out behind the barn here, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the facts of life. We're going to go through this game commission stuff. Okay. Okay, come on, gang. We'll sit up here now and just pay a little attention to what we're going to do. Get in there. Come on, get up here. Get up here so we can talk this over. How come you want to raise more pheasants? We, I'll just, we, we hold, don't even have enough just habitat. Just hold your horses. Ooh, I, think this, I think this little packet from the Game and Parks Commission is going to tell us all about that what? stuff right here. Is it's going to tell us how to how to raise pheasants. Well, do tell. I got a. Hey, listen. I got a home movie. I mean, no, no, no about no, habitat no, a thousand, you enjoy it. A thousand times no. We're going to look at this first. Now look at your film. Oh, I got the things I want to explain to you right here. Oh, now the first thing it says on this thing is we gotta we gotta raise chicks here. We gotta have a nice pen. It says for them. Now what do you know about pens? Is that important here? We gotta have a a good pen. I certainly do. And why the minimum requirements are that there are going to be five square feet of space per bird. That's right. Or a pen of 21 feet by 24 feet. Five square feet per bird? That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, this is 100 birds we're talking about. That's right, 100 chicks. And That's the a mess of them. the ends should be made from fine poultry mesh. Uh, since chickens can squeeze out of a one-inch mesh uh, until they're about 10 days old. So you got to have a small, itty-bitty, teeny mesh. Is that right? That's right. See, I didn't know that about that. Pen. Oh, no, no. Now, does this cost quite a little? This pen? Well, listen, it's not cheap. I say cheap, no pun intended there. It's not cheap. It's about $142. I got a board, a little thing here. See that there? Remember that. 142 minimum just to raise it. For a hundred pheasants, a hundred and forty-two dollars. That's what's going to cost that's me to raise. That's the very least you can get by with the space. Uh, and uh, you know, the preferred pen be about twenty-four square feet uh, space per bird. Well, see, now I didn't know that. And that would cost three hundred and fifty-nine dollars. Whoa, wait! Check out your piggy bank. Oh, <laughs> that kid's really got his feathers together. I don't know whether you guys are going to be worth this or not. Oh, yeah, we are. But uh, I've, got, I've got a little known fact that you all should know. Let's hear it. I'm well, all Okay, ears. okay. 
Now, you got to be sure when you got this here pen yeah. that, that you bury it like six inches deep beneath the ground. That wire's got to be buried around it's there? It's got to be buried. Now, now how do you come we do that now? It, well, oh. it keeps the little chickies out, and it keeps the predator or the chickies in, and the predators out. That's right. Chickies in and the predators out. Right, right, right. Well, them boa constrictors is mean. Yeah, they, they have sure boa constrictors. And the bottom of the pen, now listen here, yes. cowboy. Go ahead, go ahead. Two and a half and two feet of the, of the bottom of the pen should be made of tighter material to protect against those predators uh, when the round guard is removed. Is that right? That's right. Well, That's now right. You see, I didn't and know. you're supposed to use hail screen or old sheet metal board or like a, something real tough. Now, it says here on this, when you get this pen all fixed up, it's got pictures here of, uh, of brush piles. Now, what are that? Yeah. What's that? What's the only brush well, piles? Well, brush piles is to keep their attention, yeah. for one yeah. thing, so they can dig around in it. Uh -huh. And also, little chicks, just like human beings, need to get away from each other once in a while. So you, you build big brush piles uh -huh. in there and a couple uh -huh. little ones, and this helps them hide. Plus, you can also put in, like, old fence and truck flaps, you know, oh, yeah, just yeah. stand them right up so it's kind of a wall and the chicks can go behind there and hide. Now you don't put these chicks into this big pen right off the bat. Well, you got us round pens. You got to have round pens. Is that first. a brooder? Says something about a brooder here. Uh, well, now you, you all be quiet for a minute mm -hmm. because I have a point about these here brooders to make. You see, they have to be round. They have to be circular, you know, in, in shape because this is because the little chicky poos like to crowd up on each other, on top of each other, and they'll suffocate. They're kind of scaredy cat little birds, if you pardon the pun. And, and anything, the least little thing will frighten them. So you got to avoid corners that they can crawl up on to each other. Oh. And don't forget there, it takes uh, two electric infrared brooders, and they cost $18. And is that's that, the minimum. Is that figured in with forty two? Huh? Is that figured in my 142? Uh, you got to figure that all in. I'm not sure about that. Now you, <laughs> don't forget, the best would be a gas brooder, and that, but that'd be about 60 bucks. Can you top that up there, Cowboy? Oh, I don't know. I now, what, else, what else I got to know about this brooder? Is there anything that's got to be I want to show right? you something here. It's very important. You should remember it. I'll pay attention. See that? Uh -oh. 95 degrees. Now, that is the minimum that should be maintained for the first week. And then you can turn it down to about 80 degrees because we're starting to sweat at that point around the feeders and, and waters. But uh, don't let the bone get closer than 15 inches to the litter. For safety's sake, my goodness, why, if we touch one of those, you're going to hear a holler. Uh, and uh, don't forget, after the first week, gradually reduce the temperature by raising the light two or three inches per week. And let the chirk, uh, chick uh, circle be your guide. Let the chick circle be your... That's I'm a tongue twister. Sure right? He's learning the noise. I'm going to change your guide. Right. That's, now, now, I've right. got another couple of points. Let's hear it, Mother. This here brooder should be on day and night for the first three weeks. Got that? Yeah. Three weeks, yeah. that's 21 days? Yeah. Right. Okay. Then, on only on at night during the fourth week, because we's getting a little bit used to it. The feathers are coming out and all that. And, and, oh, also, very important, mm -hmm. be sure to get ventilation in that brooder house. Got to have some ventilation. But, okay, okay. But, but what? But watch for drafts. Yeah. Don't want no drafts coming in and freezing the little toesies off them oh, little chick okay. That's okay. right. And then That's for right. the first five days, yeah, yeah. you should scatter a little crust, yeah. starter pellets all around on little colored uh, paper plates. On uh, a colored paper yeah, plate. Yeah, in addition to the feeders, that's right. Uh, well, now, what color, do I do that for? Now, listen. I'm paying attention. You, I'm paying attention. Mm, do I'm paying the color, you, you're listening? I'm listening. The color I is attracting the chicks, see? Yeah. And it helps them to learn because they're pretty dumb cluck, you know? Is that right? Pretty dumb when they're born. Dumbest animal I ever did meet, though. Hey, Paul, they pick that stuff off them colored plates. That's right. Well, I hey, do. Paul, don't forget that it's vital to have the proper feed. Yeah, you, you, you've got to have you got to have enough protein in that right, Junior? Right. I've got let's a thing right here, see? Let's see the statistics. What'd she say? She says a 52% neotrope. What? That is a right. Oh, I got it upside down. There you are. I'm embarrassed about there, that. There you 25 are. 25% protein we got to have to build up strong bodies of uh, 12 ways. You know? 25%. Very Keeps good. Keeps them feathers I fluttering. Do. Keeps the feathers what? Fluttering. I see. That's right. It's well, got to be high in protein, right? Oh, that's high right. in protein. protein. Because, you, you see, it helps prevent cannibalism. Hang your head. Oh. Cannibalism? Oh, no. Horror 
hard and stuff, hard. But you got to learn how to avoid this. Now, how do you do that? How do we? Well, how? in order to do this, uh -huh. you have to have a lot of green for the little birdie poos to eat. A lot of green. Now, what do you mean by green? Oh, you know, things like dandelions and a mm -hmm. uh, oh, bunch of other things like that. You know, things that they can munch on once in a while. Little brush piles to keep them busy. Find them insects that they can scratch around on mm -hmm. and perches and stuff like that. Because if you don't, mm -hmm. they're going to start pecking each other yeah. and they're going to lose the sterling silver trademark on the pheasant, which is pale feathers. That's my mama. Ain't she sweet? But, but chicks also need some grit. They need chick-sized okay. grit scattered okay. around each day. But don't give them too much because them Not their little chicks... Grit. No, them their little chicks is grit greedy. That's right. Now you, you talk a little southern. Are you saying grits or do you mean grit? Grit. You mean like gravel? Sand. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, sort that's of like grit. grit. It teaches them grit. how to dig for their food. Oh, yeah. We use true grit. True grit. True I, know, grit yeah. I understand that. That's a neat brand. What would you say, Junior? Pardon me for interrupting. No, go right on ahead. We're all Did in. you know that us little chicks is gluttons? Gluttons. Need about two pounds of starter during the first six weeks. Is that Our true? little belly is full. That's, that's about $22 for 200 chicks, or let's see, that's $11 per 100 weight. Let's see, punch it up on the calculator. Yep, that's right. So you taught uh, that kid everything you know? Yep, I, I learned him real well. You done good. I and don't forget, good. don't forget, at six weeks, chicks will eat about a pound feed per week until they're released. And if you release them at eight weeks old, yep. 100 chicks would eat yep. another 200 pounds of feed just in that two-week period. Isn't that eight. amazing? Why, it's Aren't just you just marvelous? I'm absolutely well, we have such little birds, but I man, know. we got big stomachs. We could evidently, assume. evidently. So now, listen, we talked a lot about this feed. Yeah. Well, you know what? Total what? feed cost for 100 chicks yeah. for eight weeks will be $40. That's not so bad, is it? No. Well, I saw in this deal here when I was going through here something about water. Oh, we, yeah, now we listen, got I want to know about the water because it said something call. about putting marbles in their water. I told you, Cowboy. I, 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 I want to listen. Let's, 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 let mother go. Let mother go. I, I have a point, a point or two to tell you about these three waterers. Oh, Good. let's hear it, mother. All right. Okay. <clears throat> point number one. Uh huh. Get it? Uh huh. Okay. Point number First one. of all, disinfect. Absolutely everything. Ooh, these little birdie everything. poos, these mm -hmm. little birdie poos are susceptible to diseases just like any little baby. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. Okay, got okay, that. Okay, now in order to do this, you can use almost any disinfectant, but do not. And I repeat that: do not use lye. Don't use lye. Okay, right. I got that. Right. I got now that. be sure to scald the waterers every day, and put out fresh water twice a day. Basically, because first of all, they is thirsty, and you know you got to keep these waterers a little bit fresh there. She's been a mother many times, and you she bet. should know. You bet. Well, I'm listening to her. I believe right. everyone okay. this girl to tell us. I got point number. Which is more than I can say for you. Right. He's never been a mother. Yeah, that's right. That's kind of a mean mother, but other than that. That's true. Uh, I got point that's number good. two. Mm -hmm. What you do with these marbles mm -hmm. and small stones mm -hmm. is you put them in the little waterer. Mm -hmm. And this prevents these little birdie poos from falling in because they're kind of shallow and, mm -hmm. the, and the water's kind of deep. deep. Mm -hmm. And they don't do a backstroke very well. well they, they don't, don't even side stroke down. very well. Mm. They don't even float. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right in that time. I was going to say something here. about that first. Well, yeah, well, I was going to say something that we need, you need plastic water or you need three of them or at least two feeder trays. Yeah. And it'll help you to get green water. Green? That's right. Now, how comes that in? Well, the color, again, will attract those like chicks the, like and the help them place. learn to drink. They like color. You know, everybody likes a little color. In well, what about? I've noticed okay. that we pheasants like green. We're yeah. all from Ireland originally. Can you imagine that? An Irish immigrant from China with a southern accent? Is that the well, now listen, we, we're just hysterical. Isn't it family. wonderful? She's a mother, and she should know about all that stuff. I, I know. That's she's right. kind That's of right. a good, good old girl, too. I'll tell you that for sure. Listen, now, we went through pretty much... Now, I was going to show question. you something about a whole movie later on. That's why I was That's right. Okay, but now, you listen, before we that. get to these movies you guys brought for us, Listen, I'll tell you what I want to do here. We, we haven't talked about litter. What's this litter business? Well, oh, litter. Litter. Yeah. litter. Now, who wants Honey, to litter? you got to say something first about that. You have to well, talk up for a I'll speak up right here. Okay. Now, now, listen here, cowboy. I'm listening. Good. I'm listening. Go right on ahead. You cover the floor of the brewer house with right. two inches yeah. of straw. Yeah. Corn cobs, 
Yeah. Coarse peat moss. Yeah. Or expanded vermiculite. How's that for a scientific word? Expanded, expanded vermiculite. Now, it's I never... Not, it's the best since it's fireproof. Mm -hmm. Way up tight and out of sight vermiculite. That's right. Oh, that's right. And that's don't right. forget, okay. too, yeah. okay. don't use wood shavings or sand because it might make us blind. It's a horrible sight seeing a, a little pheasant with a tin cup trying to send, sell pencils on a corner, you know? Okay, I don't use sand or, or, or sawdust or wood. Okay. It makes us blind. Okay. I got that now. I got that down pat. That's but true. we got to have that litter on the floor. Yeah, and you got to cover the litter up. It's got to have some kind of it's cover. It's got to have some kind uh, of cover. Why is that? Why is that? Well, because this is, uh, otherwise, the, the little birdie poos will start eating it. And then if they start eating that, uh -huh. they won't eat their regular food. And oh. they will starve to death. So you anyway, got to I'll tell you what you got to cover it with. Okay. Okay. There are one of three things that, that this uh, here people, the commission, recommends. Okay. All right? Chick starter paper is the first one. Mm -hmm. Or if you can't get a hold of that or don't want to bother with that sort of stuff, some white muslin. White you know, muslin, that's okay. what they kind of make curtains and blouses yeah. out oh, of yeah, these yeah, days. Yeah, the and then, and the then if you don't got any of that, well, mm -hmm. you can use old bed sheets. Old bed sheets. That's but right. don't plan on oh. sleeping in them again. No, they got to be plenty filthy when you put them down. And, you know, I want to kind of say, you know, that when the first year of this program has started, we had losses of, hang your head, folks, 45 percent. 45 percent Ain't that a shame? Oh. I wrote that up there so I could hang it in my living room. I Think see. about it. Oh, that's a, that's a bad reminder. Yeah. That's terrible. That is. That but we've there. improved. You have improved the whole yes. program. That's right. all kind of, kind of this information here has kind of brought it up right. Oh, yeah. yeah. We yeah. hope yeah. 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 If I pay attention to this game commission stuff, I'll do pretty good one. You will. Could do pretty Definitely. good. Definitely. Absolutely okay. Okay. Now, let's see. One other thing I think is mentioned in here was about keeping them wild. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got what is it on that? I, I've got some stuff on that. Let's right? hear it, Mom. Okay. Well, first of all, don't make them personal pets. Don't make them pets. You okay. can never train them to roll over and fetch sticks for so forget it. Don't they like them. Is that right? Okay. Anybody okay. who's attracted to green plates, you know it's hard to train. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, you gotta, I guess I got to go on. Okay. That. Now, now, in order to anticipate a release site or sites, you 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 got to plan this real good and plan this plan this with the commission people too. You got to plan this with the commission. Uh, they, 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 they know their business about us little birdie poos. They know about the habitat where you got to go in. You and bet. Like that. Now that'll help us survive the shock of release, won't it, honey? That's right. Survive that shock of release. Okay. And I don't want you to forget there. What about that? Now, you ain't going to forget. I'm going to write it all down right here. He's got it. He's got right. it. This okay. for a year-round survival of us yeah. pheasants. Yeah. A habitat must be a grass and nesting area. Mm -hmm. Food. Yeah. Got to have that. Yeah. Resting and loafing sites. Yes, yeah, I, that I right just here. love loafing around. Or bushy escape cover. Okay. Now, now these things is something we really need to depend on our success on multiplying and doing all sorts of stuff like that. Okay. okay. Well, I just I know oh, how to honey, multiply so real smart. good. Paul. I know, I know. Oh, oh thank you. Give me a little peck on the cheek there. Oh, dude. cut that out, you guys. <laughs> Listen, what about this film you brought to show me? Now you got oh, the film. film. You got that film. Yeah, we got it right here. I'll go. Oh, okay. Hang on just a minute here now. I'll I help need you. some help here. I'll help you is that up mighty here. heavy for a little feller like you. I okay. lift that, I'll be an unpleasant pheasant. Okay, now, there we go. Cowboy, are you yeah. sure you got enough habitat for all these pheasants they're going to raise? Well, I think so. I don't know. Well, I'm, we'll look at this and see what That's good... That's right. I'm going to show you. This I've is got good. some stuff on here that you just won't believe. If this is good habitat, then I'm going to know what good habitat is. No, nope, this is not good habitat. This is going to be poor habitat. This is the bad. Right. I didn't know that. Let's all look at it. Let's pay attention. Right over on the oat sack. We'll show it on the oat sack over there. You ready? Yeah, now look there, burnout ditch. How can we us pheasants live in those burnout ditches? There's no cover. Look here. All plowed under land right up next to the road. I've got to make a living out there too, though. I but gotta... there's no place for us pheasants to live. Why are you going to stop pheasants if there's not enough habitat? Well, well the whole idea here is if we get these pheasants raised you guys up here, then we might provide a little more habitat out here, so you're going to be sure to be there, see? That's the idea behind this, create more habitat. Well, I hope oh, I so. <laughs> Hey, Paul, look there. There's one of them egg squishers. Now, look, there's nothing there, no cover. We need grassing areas and things like that. Well, look there. We can't live in that. That's too, too barren. 
That's uh, a little better. That's oh, a little yeah, better hey, right I there. got a statistic on roadside ditches. Did you know that the roadside produce 25% of all the successful pheasant nests? That's, that's why you right. see us pheasants hitching around. Oh, right. well, that's right, Junior, but look there, that's Ooh, when times that's, get hard. Oh, you oh, dip too. your tail feathers in that Ooh. stuff, and boy, you oh, have it. You now wake up. Too bad. Oh, there's covered. Aunt Gertie and uh, uh, Cousin Birth, I do believe. I think that's Cousin Birth. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, and, wait, well, Cowboy, you going to post your land to protect the stock you're raising? Well, will I have to post it? You suppose it better, or what? Well, you know, if there's enough cover, us us birds, we can sneak around and never catch us if we got enough grass and stuff to, to run around in. That's my wild kingdom. Well, I'll try to produce some. On here, shelter belts yeah. now. That's not too bad. They're, they're, they're cutting a lot of them yeah. out, though. Yeah, but they're that. cutting them out. Yeah, That's are. right, and they're yeah. getting fewer and fewer of those. Yeah, we need more of them. I see Great that. little oasis there for pheasants. That's good cover year-round, ain't it? That's right. Okay. On here's some high they're, grass. It's not yeah. too bad. But look at those hills up there, kind of barren. Yeah. Now, is this grass good all year round, or you got to have different stuff now? you got to have some different stuff? Yeah, oh, look here. Now, in the oh. winter, this is okay because it's got snow yeah. on it. Maybe oh, there's a squirrel tail there. What is that? That's, that's, that's a squirrel tail. I took a, a squirrel what, what tail. Well, that's just, that's just fancy. Not really. Brother, you done on good on grass. that. I'm sorry. I'm Junior good. did a fine job. Yeah, there, you've I'm, done good on that. Here's, a, here's, I'm holding the camera, and I'm walking past all this good stuff. This is great cover, and it's edible, too. Now, is that good for year-round cover, though, or do you need some different kinds of stuff? No, there's something that we need that packet there stuff. said something about warm weather and cold weather grasses. Is that kind of important? you got to pay attention to that. Yeah, that's right. And, though, and here's a friend Ooh, of a pheasant, hey, yeah. a farmer, who, who left a, a, a weed. tall weed yeah. and stuff. The clover so there, that's live good. in there and clover, that's good what stuff. What are they doing here? What's this here? Field. What is this right here? Oh, this is a... Uh, the FFA and 4-H and Boy Scout Community Clubs, you know, they're helping us animals out by putting up trees and, and putting habitat for us. Don't animals. forget the campfire girls and the bluebirds. That's right, helping the us out there. Yeah. Mighty nice folks there. Well, that'll work out good, then we put them birds out there and have a place for them. That's oh, right, that's right, cowboy. Right, right, well, don't you forget that. That'll work there out just good, ain't enough pheasants in this world. Wasn't well, that the most fabulous film you ever saw? It was the you best I've ever seen. Old D. Milo we couldn't have made a better film. You done film good on that. the film. You done good on the film. That's true. That's true. I did the photography. You, you're done good. You done good on the Call photography. Me a shutter bird. We've had a lot of fun doing this, haven't we? Yeah, but sure there is. But there is a lot of serious points to this film. I tell you, isn't there? That's right. There's a lot of serious points. Just keep this in mind. If you're going to raise these little buggers here. You want to keep your losses to a minimum. Raise good, healthy chicks. And most importantly, be sure that when you turn them into the wild, there's sufficient habitat for them to make it. Now, is there anything you want to add, Junior? Well, it would have been a little better if there was some popcorn. You don't have, we can't have everything here. We just can't have everything. Well, we can we, we, popcorn. That was a mighty fine film there. Oh, popcorn. That was a huge, 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 huge